Grab it, grab it, grab it! Oh. Call it, call it, boy. That's yeah, our ball. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, Matias? Yeah. That's it, T! Yeah! 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 That's it, T! Yeah! That's it, T! Yeah! That's it, T! Go T! Go T! Yeah! 
in.
Maria Darantone, Daddy Doe for our Athlete of the Week. Today we have FD Rugby player Matias Calvo. Uh, congratulations on being Darantone's Athlete of the Week. Who would you like to present the check to? I would like to present the check to Feed25 organization to help impoverished kids in the Philippines. Matias, congratulations on winning your third consecutive Boys High School Rugby Championship. Talk about the work and effort you guys put in as a team heading into this year's season uh, as back-to-back -back champions. Um, this season, we know we had a lot of people leave from last year who were seniors. So we, uh, our coaches really put us through a lot, a lot of conditioning sessions and a lot of um, team runs. So our practices are pretty tough, and that's kind of what helped us this season. You guys faced uh, the Simon Sanchez Sharks in the championship game. Meeting them a few weeks earlier was a pretty close game. Mm -hmm. What was the difference maker this time around that allowed you guys to pull ahead so far in the title game? I think the main thing for us was we were working together as a team. Um, everyone was, was playing their part. Everyone was sharing the ball. And uh, just overall, our teamwork was a lot better than the first game when we played them. Entering your, your senior year uh, next season, how does the team look to possibly uh, complete that dynasty of, of four championships? Um, I think we look pretty good. We have a lot of people leaving, but... We have a lot of returnees too, um, a lot of returnees in the backs and in the, both in the backs and in the forwards. So I think we look pretty good for next season. Securing a gold medal for yourself in boys high school wrestling, a rugby title under your belt. What's next for you now as far as sports? Um, I'm going to go back to training wrestling with the Phoenix Wrestling Club and hopefully get another championship next year. Congratulations. Stay tuned to our next Darrentone Athlete of the Week. KUAM Sports Athlete of the Week is brought to you by... Matias Calvo is golden. Undefeated as a Father Duaneus Fryer wrestler in his junior year, Calvo got the gold. But that isn't stopping him from working even harder. Just trying to build upon everything that I, I already have. So build, lifting more weights, wrestling more, and just overall getting better for next year. Matias says hitting the mat for the Friars is not always fun in games, but the end game has proven worth it. A three-peat as wrestling champs for Manilao's maroon and gold. The tradition of wrestling here at FD is uh, pretty tough because we have our coach, Coach Terry DeBold, who really puts in a lot of time for us and, uh, and wants us to get better. So. We have pretty long practices every day, and um, we have him just pushing us all the way through, him and Coach Jose. Competing for FD and like representing our team as, in general is kind of what drives all of us, because we're wrestling, representing FD, the brotherhood, and all of that, not just for ourselves. So it kind of pushes us to be better and to have more respect for everyone and um, do our best on the mat. Calvo steadily improving on the mat. As a freshman, he finished fourth. As a sophomore, he got the bronze, and this year he snagged top honors in his division. I put in a lot of work in the offseason with my brothers and the rest of the uh, FD wrestling team, and uh, it felt really good to win the first championship, my first championship. After the wrestling season's done, Matias makes his way to Hawaii to compete in Moana's Holiday Dual Meet Invitational. His accolades on the mat go hand in hand with his grit as the double I double AG's 2018 Boys Rugby Player of the Year. Calvo was tops in points scored, leading the Friars to their third Boys Rugby Championship in as many years. The difference maker for us was our chemistry. Like a lot of us grew up knowing each other and playing together, and I think that was a really the difference for us because we were able to move the ball well and able to communicate well on defense, and that was really the difference maker. Calvo saying one of his goals, playing rugby at a higher level. Having already played for Guam's U18 national rugby squad, Matias says it was one of the highlights of his sports career. Representing Guam is an honor, and I think that uh, anyone who has a chance to represent Guam should um, give their best and give their all and, and uh, play with respect for the game and for everyone else. And so that would definitely be one of my goals in the future. It's obvious Calvo has athletics down pat, but his academics are medal worthy as well. 4.0 GPA. He's on FD's Academic Challenge Bowl team. They've won two titles in a row and are currently sitting in first place. Calvo also winning the Island Wide High School Chemistry Competition held at UOG on Charter Day. That's probably the most important thing to me. Like my, my parents, if I'm not doing well in academics, they, they
they won't let me participate in, in uh, anything, so maintaining uh, uh, good grades are very important to me. As he heads into his senior year, Calvo looks to keep his star rising. Athletics, academics, and representing the FD tradition, for some, it might keep their hands full, but Matias has a good grip on things. After all, he is strong in the faith, and that's what makes Matias Calvo a Gatorade game changer. <laughs> My name is Matias Calvo. I'm a junior on the FD rugby team. I play flat half and I live in the village of my team. Describe yourself in three words. Stubborn, determined, and hardworking. Who's your favorite sport personality? Daniel Carter from the All Blacks. He retired now, but he, was, he played for the All Blacks. What do you like about the sport that you're playing? I love the physicality of it and the team aspect as well. Name the top person that gave you advice in the sport that you're playing now. My dad, he's one of my coaches, and also uh, our other coaches, Coach Paul and Coach Rob. Who's your favorite sports team? <coughs> uh, my favorite sports team is the 49ers, San Francisco 49ers, because my family's, they're rabid 49ers fans. How do you prepare yourself before a game? Getting myself taped up my wrists and my ankles, and also listening to music and getting pumped up. What is your most memorable game or sports experience? Is winning a championship this year, because um, I had a pretty big part in it all, and the team, I think we over, overall performed well. Overall, yeah, overall. How do you handle winning or losing a game? My mom taught me to be humble in both, so I try to do that, and also just getting back to work and going back to training to try and improve on what we what, what happened in the last game. Do you have a second sport? Yes, wrestling is my second sport. What do you do in the off season? I'm usually training wrestling, so in the off season I'm working out, lifting weights, training wrestling, all of that. What is your advice to up and coming athletes? Stay humble and keep training and everything you, you want to accomplish will come true. <coughs> Pizza, Maroon, Post Malone, Psycho by Post Malone, definitely Apple, Godfather 2, The Rock, Fortnite on my phone, anything casual, just like Zori's and uh, sweatpants, sweater. I can't choose between my parents and my brothers out of them all. Fast is brought to you by 76 Circle.